welcome. No, I'm just giving a little logo. Pro.com. <laughs> a little logo. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. It's April 4th. I'm Beth Stevens. I'm Paul Wontorek. This is Live at 5. We have a really awesome guest today. Kendra Kasselbaum. Come from away. <laughs> Broadway's from new away. hit. Yell it out, Paul. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're excited. She's awesome. We're excited. We're wearing She's green awesome. and like... Oh my God! Like accidental. <laughs> anyway, we're having a moment. We're Whenever a moment. Uh, uh, oh, we should, we should be wearing pink though. If we're doing it for that reason, we're wearing we're, we're in the wrong it's team. True. It's our signature color. Um, so. What's the news? What's well, the buzz, Beth? All, I said that today when we filmed the Broadway.com show. What's the buzz, Beth? I always like saying that. Thanks for sharing. That's a nice um, ring. <laughs> so let's get to the news, shall we? Yeah. Uh, Indecent starts performances tonight at the Court Theater, the new Paula Bogle play. First time Paula Bogle has been on Broadway. Uh, the, which blew my mind. We have a piece that just went up, actually. Yeah, that's uh, what I was going to say. Is we have a wonderful photo shoot with the two leads in Indecent, and it's shocking that and, Paula Bogle's Yeah, Caitlin McNaney did these really cool photos. Um... And I was doing the research, I was editing the piece, and I was like, oh my god, wait, Paula Vogel's never had a play on Broadway? That's nuts. Nope, but she's been a playwright for a long time. How much do we both love How I Learned to Drive? That is like one of the best plays, and right? the freakiest, ickiest, most wonderfully written play. <laughs> um, so welcome to Broadway, welcome Paula. To Broadway. Paula. The Court Paula. Theater starts tonight. Tonight. Um, we also have an exclusive song oh, yeah. on the site of Andy Carl and Barrett Doss from Groundhog Day singing If I Had My Time Again. Yeah, it's repeat. catchy. On repeat. It's catchy. On repeat. Yeah. You, know, you get the joke. We'll stop. Yeah. Just um, keep refreshing that. Keep listening. Speaking of cast albums, War Paint is getting a cast well, album. Well, I, I mean, if there wasn't a cast album of War Paint, there's something wrong with the Broadway industry. But I'm glad there is. There is. It's, it's going to be, be on the Ghost Light label yep. and come out in June. Yeah. And they are... Um, Who's in that show? <laughs> two-time Tony winner, Patti Lapone. And two-time Tony, Tony winner, winner, Christine Epperson. Yeah, four-timers there. Four. Combined. Four, yeah. you're, you're, are you, what's in that cup? Um, <laughs> Seltzer. We have some really amazing casting news for Shakespeare in the Park. This is cool. I wasn't paying attention to the news today that I just found out like 10 minutes ago. I don't even know where to begin because it's so cool. We're gonna. So first of all, the two shows are Julius Caesar, which is May 23rd to June 18th, and A Midsummer Night's Dream from July 11th through August 13th. So we're going to be spending a lot of time in Central Park this summer. All right, so let's talk about who's Let's start with Midsummer. Yeah. Because okay. Annalie Ashford That's is really going to play cool. Helena. That's really cool. What? That's really cool. Um, th this is such an amazing cast. I just kind of printed out the whole cast. Because yeah, it's so just good. go. Just let me, you got Tony nominee Deidre Aziza from Passing Strange. His I was going to say Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown. Yeah, that too. Doesn't she in that? I yeah. Don't know. Kyle Beltran. You've got Danny Burstein as Nick Bottom, because Bottom's going to be on top. Sorry, he's almost spit up. That's exciting. <laughs> I don't he's Nick to... Bottom? He's Nick Bottom. Tony Nominee Shalita Grant. Okay, I, just got, I started thinking about something wrong. Yeah, it's not... Okay. This is actually a Sorry, Midsummer Night's Dream. Shalita Grant. Remember Shalita Grant, Tony Nominee? Yes. For Vanya and Sonia and Masha and Spike. Thank you for not quizzing me. Yep. I would not. She's but fabulous. Her, her co-star, Christine Nielsen, who's currently in Present Laughter, is going to play Puck. That's usually a young boy playing that part. Oh, somebody I know is in it. Oh. Well, I know a lot of them, but Jeff Hiller. Jeff, Jeff Hiller is yeah. Hi, Jeff. Jeff Hiller. Hi, Jeff. Congratulations. Just a great cast. A fantastic cast. Okay. Julius Caesar. Okay, go. More dramatic. <laughs> Greg Henry is playing Caesar. Tony winner, Nikki M. James, is playing Portia, which is a fantastic That's cool. role. You're into that? I'm so into it. Corey Stoll. Oh. Wow. Wigged or not? I, he's playing I mean, I like him both ways. Caesar. <laughs> but Corey's still in a wig. That was not the first question I thought No, I like, asked. I mean, you know, the He's playing face. Brutus, and John Douglas Thompson, who's recently in Jitney, is playing Cassius. Fantastic cast. Just amazing cast. You're um, the Shakespeare expert, so if Beth said it's a great cast, I trust her. I don't know when they cast a musical, I can expert? rate the cast better. I don't think that's true. But, um, but these are great people. There's, there's a signature has, speaking, oh, also, Pulitzer Prize winning playwright Stephen Adley Gerges, hi mm -hmm. Stephen, is playing Sin of the Poet in Julius Caesar. Oh, cool. He's like acting. And speaking of him, the signature has already said that uh, Stephen and Susan Laurie Parks are their, their resident playwrights over at the signature. Yeah. Are you playing it? I got distracted by a comment. But okay. I, was I, I could tell that you were sort of like, I was yeah, listening to you. But now they told us which <laughs> plays they're doing. Okay. They have something in common, which is uh, cursing in their titles. Um, okay. So, so Stephen's plays will be Jesus Hop the A Train. Did you ever see that? Because it was fantastic yeah. back in the day. And Our Lady of 121st Street. And Susan Laurie Parks's will be fucking A. I'm just gonna say it. And In the Blood. And they've also added um, in honor of Edward Albee at Home at the Zoo, Home Life, and the Zoo Story. That's two one X put together. Oh. 
Cool. All right, so these are the comments I wanted to share. First of all, Imogen Lloyd Webber. Hi, Imogen. Hi, Imogen. She, sometimes Happy she's birthday. been here. She said, uh, this casting may make me visit a Shakespeare comedy. May? It's Annalie Ashford in A Midsummer <laughs> Night's Dream. Imogen, what are you talking and, about? We'll go uh, together. And he- Helena, Helena, Raphael said, I have Patty Lapone and Annalie Ashford playing characters with my name. But it depends on how you pronounce it, right? Helena. But are they both Helena? Helena, you're right. How do you pronounce it? Tell us. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm going to go because Kendra's here. Oh, and Dawn's watching from Alabama, so she's going to be super excited. Hey, y'all. Thank you, Beth. <laughs> but let's bring on uh, Kendra. Miss Kendra Kassebaum, everybody. Hi, Come on in. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. You're in a Broadway hit. Yeah. That's nice, right? Broadway hit show. Yeah, you like it. You, you, you know, when you do this for a while, you appreciate that. Oh, my th- God. Those moments, right? Yes, totally. Is it fun, like, going to the theater every night? Come from away. Yeah. Um, at the Schoenfeld. Mm-hmm. A great little, th- great theater. It's actually, like, a cool theater to see yeah, a musical Yeah, it's kind of magical because we have, like, a blue theme in the house and our set's blue, oh. so it's, like, all coordinated. It makes all me worked. happy. You're all up in the sky. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, but th- you must be feeling the energy in the audiences. I mean, there's, like, this show is like has a great buzz everyone's talking yeah. about it it's really like building because no one knew it's what amazing. it was no i called it come fly away many times I know. But now i know even when i first like was hearing about it, i'm like come from what will come from what i don't understand what this is <laughs> but yeah the Where were they? is serious <laughs> it's it's amazing once that bowron starts that that rhythm that beat uh-huh. you can feel everybody like kind of hone in Brendan so. Brendan said he wore his come from away shirt to work today, which is well, per- thank perfect you. timing. That's perfect Thanks timing. Thanks for representing. <laughs> <laughs> what is the, even the camera? I don't even know where you're. This is at. the camera. Oh right! Isn't that crazy? You told it's me so, that. It's so Sorry. Little. It's so little. Okay. All the people out there in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> uh, um, so yeah, so this is this is a nice moment. And well, the past I, album is out. Oh, and that's yes. fabulous. Yeah. I'm actually interviewing your, uh, I'm doing something with the songwriters tomorrow, the Canadians. Yes, right? they're a cool, what, cool so hang. Talk about sort of the group behind this musical, because it's definitely, um, and, I, and I know Sue and Randy, the producers, and they're really cool. It's, yes. like, a, it's like a really good like family vibe, isn't it? And you it's guys have totally been doing the show. Vibe. Yeah, we've been doing it for over, like almost over two years yeah. together. I wasn't in the La Jolla production, but I joined in in Seattle. I was living in Seattle at the time. Or that's oh, really? My home. Yeah, that's oh, where I live. Okay. And um, so I, I hopped on that. I actually did the workshop of it before I went to see, uh, okay. La Jolla. Okay. But, um, but yeah, it's been, we've been together. We've experienced things together. We went to Gander together, which I think was like really the foundation of our familyhood. Mm-hmm. And um, so it is, it pretty much is. It's, it's gross. Yeah. We really do love each other. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> so gross. I mean, you must have experienced that in the past. I mean, Broadway mm-hmm. is, like, is like a... So what was your first Broadway show? Tell me one. It's a, it's a it good was one. Rent. I know. Yeah. You, what was your first gig in... The first time you went on stage in Rent, who we were playing? Mrs. Cohen. Okay. Mrs. Cohen, yeah. I Mark, remember. Mark. It's yeah, and I was... I was yeah. I've never had so much stage fright in my life because there was also that one thing which I'm like, I've lost my brain. I think I'm losing it. I don't remember things anymore. Oh, that happens. Yeah. But um, what was that thing at the very end? It's like... Duh, 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 and it, it's like four people. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, I was petrified, but it was fun. That was a, a great family, uh, definitely, for a first Broadway show and... Um, so were you like a like a rock and roll? Yeah, chick? you had that vibe. I, I you had that was, rocker chick vibe. Now? Yeah, I no. Don't know. <laughs> you, I still see it in you. Oh yes, thank you. <laughs> Being a mom has not washed that away. No, I look back on pictures and I'm like, oh, she was a little rocker chick. She was trying to be curling her hair and wearing her leather pants. <laughs> 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 Oh, but it was fun. And then you, of course, were in Word Wicked. I mean, when yeah. Word Wicked bets come here, people love the Wicked. Love the Wicked. Um, it is a nice big part of that gig. legacy. Of course it is. Yeah. Of course it is. And boy. So you did it. Where did you do it national. first? First National. You did the First National. Yes. Right. And you did it on Broadway. Yeah. But then I'm trying to think, what was the, who, who, who you did it with? Stephanie J. Blah? Yeah. So the First National was Stephanie. It's hard Stephanie. for me to keep track of who did it with, with It's who. hard for me. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so first you had a lot time, of yeah, Stephanie J. Block, and then Mernie came in. Julia, hi, hi, Julia. Well, Eden came in. Espinosa, hi. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Miss you guys. Yeah, some powerful singers. Yeah. Yeah, so some of those powerhouses. Totally. Um, the sisterhood. Totally sisterhood. Yeah. Yeah, and those girls, those green girls, man, they had to work. Yeah. <laughs> they had to work really hard. I mean, I w- I was working hard too, but absolutely. They, oh man. I was trying to hold their hand sometimes when they were kind of low, 
and trying to do their gig. It's so hard. So you were you were do you still call Seattle home? Are you here temporarily? Yeah, I it's, you know, who knows? I have knows? no idea. I have no idea, but boy, show I, business. Show business, right? I never in a million years did I think I'd be back, I have to be honest. Really? Yeah, I was really digging it out there and and doing the mountains. There's a great theater community out there. And then You miss the mountains. Do you miss the mountains? And you did that role, didn't you? I did. I just saw that show last week, Ben. You did where? Oh, with... Yeah, um, Christiane Nall. Was it amazing? At at Hartford State, she was amazing. I'm a geek about that show. Uh, I am It's really good. If you weren't in a big Broadway hit, I would tell you to go up to Hartford immediately. Oh, man. Um, But yeah, but you did it where? Um, At the San Jose Rep and Arizona Theater out there. Yeah. Did you love it? Yeah, I did love it. I would love it. Because it's mom and rocker. Yes. See that? And, like, let's bring out a breakdown. Like, it's the most delicious combo (laughs) ever. But, yeah. Yeah, Yeah. so, uh, so, but you do consider Seattle home, and you didn't think you would come back. Yeah. Well, it's so I know you were in Leap of Faith. Though. You were yes. in Leap of Faith, and Leap of Faith was like a was like a hard show, wasn't it? I mean, it didn't it run was. as long as people. No, I think we it, did like what less than two weeks I, performance. I know what the hell was it really two weeks? I think after we opened Truth, <sighs> and we got that phone call. And now Raul's on TV, and he's never gonna come I back. Know. Come back. I know. Come back. <laughs> He's fancy pants. Jeez. But yeah, so do moments like that. Uh, was that hard? Was that sort it of It was, like, but I think that kind of helped me make that decision. I was just like, you know what? New York's always going to be here. Right. So let's, what What are we trying to find here? And I kind of found it. And, you know, it's good to be back. Who knows what's going to happen? Yeah. You know, it's good to be seeing my friends again, be in New York, get a slice of pizza whenever I want to, <laughs> get a cookie. I'm so, that, that schmackery, we have schmackeries every other uh, day in the theater. Oh, because people like send the cookies. Yes, and so a, they spread it. Oh my gosh, my cheeks are getting bigger and bigger. It's it's hard. I have that problem at the Broadway.com sometimes. Like when it's, it's people's birthday. Ending. Hey, Nick, it's Nick, it's, it's uh, by the way, Nick Shocker, our video editor's birthday today. Hi, happy birthday. So there might be a cookie waiting. I don't know. Yeah, I Who like knows? the, is that a birthday cake cookie? Yeah, that's my favorite uh, with the sprinkles No, it's on maple that. bacon, man. Oh, I never even knew about that. Uh, Stop it. Don't go there. You see, when I see the line, I just walk by. It's easy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not waiting in line to uh, get cake. Oh, my God. Okay, Sarah, saw you in D.C. You were incredible. I'm assuming in Come From Away. Or maybe in Wicked. Did you do Wicked in D.C.? Yeah, I went She's been in D.C. in many things. <laughs> uh, Elliot, what musical can you watch over and over without getting tired of it? Oh, another geeky moment. I don't know why I think it's geeky, but I love Superstar. Jesus Christ, Superstar. What's the buzz? Oh, what's the buzz? I can watch it the whole time and <laughs> lip-sync every word. I love that. Yeah. Do you have a favorite song to perform in the show? Emily wants to know in Come From Away. So it's a lot of, it's a very ensemble show. Very ensemble. You guys are on stage yeah. the entire time? Are you, no. No, no, no. But okay. it's that vibe, but there's a though. Lot. It's I mean, a lot. we're constantly moving. The show goes very fast because yeah. you're, you're doing a lot of move, moving around and stuff. But if there was a song, there's this moment in the show, and it's the quietest moment. It's just when we're singing, you know, it's, I don't want to give anything away. I don't think I would be, but it's just this moment where it's a group of actors experiencing the same thing mm-hmm. um it's not about how much vibrato and power you have it's more coming from an emotional place and it's my favorite mm. thing and i'm i actually my position i get to watch all my peers do that and it's like whoo gets me the yeah yeah you know it's simple it's yeah. just simple uh-huh. simple beautiful moment yeah you gotta appreciate a simple beautiful moment yeah, right totally um, did Kristen Chenoweth did, I mean, did you ever work with Kristen Chenoweth no. did she give you advice about playing Glenda no she doesn't like Kristen Chenoweth I know she's originally the role of Glenda but she doesn't like give a master class to any future Glenda she <laughs> right. doesn't, it's not like an hour with Chenoweth yeah. and in fact what's really cool about Wicked is that everyone got to sort of do their own thing right that's totally. what I really love about it yeah it all the great. different Glendas and yeah. so it's not like a bunch of Chenoweth Totally, you know, it's not that. and she was incredible. But yeah, Joe Mantello, the director, he was always yeah. very, very good about that. Which us... isn't always the case in a big Broadway musical. No, yeah. no. So I'm a very do what they did. No, Stand God, over that's there. like my nightmare. That's when I like self implode. I'm like. <laughs> 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 um, Elliot wants to know how old were you when you started acting? So wait, where'd you grow up? St. Louis, Missouri. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say um, acting. <laughs> what was high the first school? thing you did on stage? Uh, high school. Okay. Dial M for murder or something like that. Oh, yeah. I didn't have that many lines. I don't know what I did in it, but I thought it was cool. And then, um, so yeah, high school, I guess. What I was started, the first musical you did? Um, Nonsense. Oh, which yes. one were you? Um, 
the, be- the, the gospel the rocker one no <laughs> the gospel it's, it's, one I don't know their names and there's like a batty one. one and the yeah and this and is like I really think that I need to get my brain checked because I can't even remember like what's a long time ago I'm old so dude we're basically the same age we have the same problem <laughs> I get it I totally promise get it. me you do this too right oh like, yeah no, I, okay. I don't even remember what we talked about at the beginning of this interview <laughs> well <laughs> that might be like a personal for me I don't know <laughs> Uh, what, what about, okay, you did Nonsense. I, I love to hear high school roles. Did you, yes. uh, did, you, did you get like a big lead in high school? Oh, you know, Leader of the Pack was actually my oh. first musical. And I had one word, would you kiss him on the first date? It was like <laughs> talking in the middle of the song. And I went, nope. And I, my parents and my family was like, wow. Oh, that's was awesome. so sweet. I was so proud of that <laughs> nope. That's awesome. Do you have any uh, dream roles? Or do you hate uh, that question? No, I don't. I would love, like, Mrs. Lovett or something. Which one? Is it Miss Lovett? Miss, uh, Mrs. Lovett, yeah. Mrs. Lovett. Yeah. Yeah. I would kind of yeah. love to be kooky and, and just do mm-hmm. that. Okay. Um, Mac and Mabel's so magical, but I'm too old, I think, mm. for Mabel. But it does know. progress in age. Yes. That's sure. a great show. It I can like be part it. of the concept. Concept, yes, yes, <laughs> I like that concept. totally. Like that's how Rachel Bay Jones g- got to do Pippin, because you know she was too old to play Catherine, so they made the concept that she's like an actress playing Catherine. Oh, just out of concept. That's all you gotta amazing. do. Now you can play any role you want. She's magical. You know who'd be a good Sweeney to your Mrs. Lovett? Who? Jen Kalala. Oh my God, concept. That'd be cool. Yes, <laughs> the concept. <laughs> that's amazing. I'm telling her tonight. Tell her. It's a good idea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, oh my God! You, uh, I'm from St. Louis. What, what school, high school did you go to? Maddie Notre Dame wants... High School. All girl, all okay. girl high school. Still friends with my girls that we went to school yeah. with. Yeah, they've got kids in college and everything. Do you stage door? I think they mean Absolutely. do you come out of the stage? I don't think they mean do you go to yes. other shows stage door? Like, do you wait for Ben Platt every night? <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you stage door? <laughs> I'm first in line. He is. He is magical. Too. Well, your show is short. You actually it's could short, go yeah. stage door. Oh, you could yeah. stage door a different person every night if you really oh wanted to. Oh my gosh, to. I could. War paint. <laughs> Hi, gals. War paint. <laughs> uh, oh my God. There's p- people love you on the cast album. Max loves it. Uh, wish I could see it live. You can, Max. Yeah. I mean, assuming you can get to New York. You Absolutely. Can see it. You can see it live yeah. at the Show and Felt Theater. This is my segue out. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, it's a lot of time. Okay, um, but I, I adore you, and I'm so happy you came by, and I'm Thank so you. Bu- I'm so glad you're back. Thank you. It's good. To I be didn't back. know that you were holed away and you weren't coming back. I w- we would have done something about that sooner. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we'll always be on the lookout for you. <laughs> Where is she now? <laughs> Where is she? Uh, thank you so much. Thank and you. everyone, go see Come From Away. It's one of the big hits of the season, the Schoenfeld, and we'll see you tomorrow with another awesome guest live at five. Bye. Bye. Bye.